I try to train better and do things better every year, of course, so so we can improve. But uh, I think this was just a, a very challenging race overall, and, and we were in the right place at the right time, I guess. And my dogs kind of just did better and better throughout the race. I thought, well, it was a lot of a lot of slow going, a lot of breaking trail, wind drifts. It was. Uh, checkpoints or eat, oh, we didn't have any food in Eagle Island so we got to for some heavier sled and especially for us guys in the front didn't really know if it was possible to make it there or not so it was kind of we were sitting there thinking a lot about that I feel great I'm, I'm in a good position now that possibly win this thing so if I have a good run to Nome that would be awesome. How long have you wanted to win this thing? <laughs> long, long time. Yeah. It's gonna be a dream. It's the ultimate goal for any competitive mercers. But they wanna win this race and it just confirms that you've done anything right with your training and you prepare them to do this. So it's a good feeling and I was extremely happy with the dog team I came in here with yesterday. Who will lead you out of here? I don't know, but probably the same two that brought me here was Alex and Olive. I think we'll, we'll have a good clean run in. I don't see anything changing. I started when I had my own four dog team back in Norway and tried to did a ra do a race and came in last place and then I borrowed a team trying to do a, a longer distance race and I came second to last and I still had a lot of fun so that's when I realized I wanted to but this dream about having a dog team I think has been been with me since I was a little kid my parents would just never let me have it did you have dogs as a little kid? Well, finally, I convinced them that I could have one one dog, just a street mix. Well, once I moved out, I moved out when I was 16, and then uh, pretty soon I had four four dogs on my own. And then did you start using like a sled instead of skis? I did. Got a, got a wood sled, and I knew nothing about how to set it up or anything. But after a lot of trying and failing, and because I wasn't around any do dog mushers, so when I grew up, I don't think it was any full-time mushers. There was Robert Surly was a call, of course, and he still is the big, the big hero that came and won here in 2003 and five. And that's uh, but dog mushing is, is huge in Norway. And, you know, big races with lots of teams. And you saw Robert Surly earlier today. What did he? What did he tell you? Hmm. Oh, he's just tickled to get that. I think that it looks like this is going pretty good. And he's had a lot of fun just being here. I think it's kind of, you know, he's kind of decided not to do the race anymore and he's just really enjoying being here, I think. Obviously, I like dogs and I always liked the nature. I've been Growing up, I was fishing and hunting and hiking all the time, and we did that with ski, ski during with the dog, or backpacking, or later on with the with the sled dog. So I think it just came very natural to me to to mix the dogs in with me there.